so y'all know that, you know, what God God says what he has put together, let no man separate. So I'm talking about marriages. Um, what I have noticed being a married person myself, that marriage is very, very, very hard, especially when you're trying to do it in a Christian way. And that's why God, you know, likes for us to find out what it is that he feel like we should have in a husband or a wife. You know, he has a list of things that, you know, that um we should look for. He always say be equally yoked and that how can two uh, walk together unless they both agree. So it's things that, you know, he has not necessarily chose the person for us to marry, but he always gives us knowledge on, you know, what we look for. Okay. So with that being said, what Satan is doing, right? A lot of people are getting to marriages where they're unequally yoked and they unequally yoked from the beginning. And with God, you know, he, he, he wants us to love our spouse and treat them a certain kind of way. You know, the way that Christ had love for the church, right? So with that being said, what Satan is doing with a lot of people, they're rushing into marriages with people that they are unequally yoked with. And then they're ending in a very quick divorce. You know, there's nobody's trying to stick around. There's no stickability. But here's the catch. Satan knows that God hates divorce. Satan knows that if you are to divorce and you are to remarry for any old reason, I put the scripture down here that you make your husband or your wife uh, adulterers. And therefore, if you are a daughter, you will not get, you will not inherit the kingdom of heaven. So he makes you forfeit your rights by jumping into a marriage and then time it don't go right, quickly ending it and not only ending it and staying by yourself, but moving along thinking that you're going to be in another marriage. You know, and it's just, it's, it's, it's just a, a way to forfeit your inheritance. And a lot of people don't know that, so they rush it. But Satan has, he's sneaky, and he has his way of doing things. So to anybody that is in a marriage, and it may not be going the way that it should go, okay, you're in it. So you're going to be the best and do the best that you can do while you're in it. And if you cannot take it no more and you don't want to deal with it, you may divorce this person, but you have to be by yourself. There is no second wife or second husband until that person leaves this earth. That's the rule. That's what it is. So whatever it is that you may think it is, it's not that. That's why God says, you know, pick someone that you will be equally yoked with, that's like-minded, that is the same way that you are so y'all can grow together and have, you know, these godly offsprings, okay? It's, there's a reason for this. Because if not, if y'all don't genuinely love each other, when Satan comes and he comes with all these attacks and all these different things, it's going to tear it apart. And then now, you know, you, <laughs> you know, you're just sitting there trying to figure out what to do and don't even know where to start. Oh, you have to fight. If you are married, you have to fight. Or either you're going to fight for who you marry, your, your, the husband or wife of your youth, or you're going to be by yourself and worship God in spirit and truth and be single like Paul did. That's, that's for me. That's why I try to do real, real good in my marriage because I'm not entitled to another one. Not anytime soon. My husband is breathing alive and well. So I love y'all. Amen.